Tonight, help me Hank, working to get some answers for a man dealing with the fallout of the sudden death of his father. Yeah, so tonight, the family of Solomon Jones not only wants to know why they were never notified of his passing, but they also want to know why Detroit police towed his car and have allowed it to rack up towing charges. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester live tonight. Hank, uh, so what's uh, what Detroit, what is Detroit police saying about this tonight? And Karen, they say that, or Karen Kimberly, they say that they're acting swiftly to get the vehicle out of this tow yard. Let me tell you this. This story is one of those that makes you mad. Your heart breaks for this family. They've been working for several weeks to get the vehicle out of this tow yard. But as you'll see, that is just part of the story. Before you stepped in, I was, I, I didn't know what to do. Kendrick Fagan just wants his dad's car back. It's been sitting here at H&B towing for the last few weeks. The saga started a while ago. That's when I first talked with Kendrick. It's extremely stressful being the only child and having to deal with this whole situation by myself. You know what I'm saying? Being treated unfair all around. It's just, yeah. it's just extremely stressful. His dad, Solomon Jones, was driving his own vehicle on February 24th. He suffered a medical emergency and died in the car. DPD, yeah. EMS, they all responded. The vehicle was towed. Yeah, I was his emergency contact, so it was just strange that when he passed away and he had his ID on him in his car that they didn't contact me. Nobody got in touch with you? Nobody. Solomon's body taken to the hospital, but no one informed the family. Even though the family contacted police working to try to find the vehicle, working to find their dad, they didn't discover what really happened until they visited the hospital on their own. For the last few weeks, the vehicle's been sitting here racking up tow charges. Kendrick says he hasn't been getting the right information. And today, we learned exactly what needs to happen to get the vehicle released. It involves working with the Secretary of State. For now, DPD says they are going to get this vehicle out of this lot to make sure no further charges are racked up. Back out here live. Uh, so we worked with the Secretary of State today. We're set for tomorrow to get there to get the documentation we need. DPD told me today on the phone that the vehicle had been removed, that the tow charges would not continue to rack up. The vehicle's still here. I just called DPD a short time ago. Uh, they seemed surprised to know that the vehicle was still here. So we're still waiting. We want the vehicle out. We want to make sure this man is not responsible for these charges. We want to make sure he gets his vehicle back. We're live here tonight on the east side. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Back to you. We know you're going to stay on it, Hank, and keep us updated. We appreciate it.